Hello, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. This is Mike with Mike's Game Domain. And we've done a little bit of work off camera setting up a forward base. Um, we're basically right under the mountain range. Um, we're on like at the river base right in the middle of the map. I uh, just kind of picked this spot mainly because I saw a bunch of T-Rexes in the area and I saw a couple Spinosauruses. And um, we really want to get a big predator. I mean, the Carnotaurs are awesome. No, uh, no complaints there, but I just want something really awesome. So I found this guy, and uh, it's like a red Spinosaurus. The only Spinosauruses I've seen so far have been green, so I'm very excited. Um, I just managed to make a spyglass, so let me show you this thing. Um, the spyglass is a way of whoom, zooming way in and really scoping out the map. So one thing that they allowed it to do is see the um, hello, is see the level of far away dinosaurs. So I was curious what the level of the Spinosaurus is. I'd rather like to tame a pretty high level one, um, even though their base stats are... Oh, that's such a cool looking dinosaur. Even though their base stats are good anyway. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like a little frisky there. Um, oh, my bow's about to break. So yeah, I'll just show you around the uh, the base that I built. So, wow, really? Okay, it's going to be shaky because the freaking Brontosaurus wants to hang out and mate with mine. 54, ooh. Uh, no, 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 no. He will wreck everything. So one thing is... Sorry about the shaking. One thing is I... Oh, there's Brontosaurus. Oh, there's another Spinosaurus. Yeah, see, I like this area. I like all... And there's a T-Rex over there. I like all the craziness that's happening. Level 3. Oh, those are so scary looking. Um, and then you, sir, are a... Oh, that's awesome. Is it dead? Aw. Is the Spinosaurus dead? I think that's a carcass. What killed the Spinosaurus? Jeez. Um, guessing the Rex. So, he's eating something. Uh, are you dead too? No, you're alive. Stego. Okay, whatever. Um, anyway. Wow, I, I don't think I've ever seen a, a Spinosaurus actually get killed in the wild. They're pretty much the top predator. Uh, I hope that T-Rex gets eaten by piranhas. Yeah, there are a ton of piranhas in the water here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, they're, they're, they're actually right in front of me. Um, I got nearly killed several times by them. And we all know I don't like piranhas, so... Outside of that, this is a pretty cool spot. Oh, he's swimming. Get him! Get him! I don't think anything attacks T-Rexes, honestly. Uh, they pretty much can just do whatever they want. Kind of the king. King of the world. So, um, anyway, so this is my spot. I quickly crafted it. It actually got made of thatch. It's just a big box. It's nothing pretty. Um, and being thatch, what I didn't realize is that it takes a lot of damage from dinosaurs. So especially things that have area of effect, such as um, whenever the brontosaurus swing their tails or stegosaurus swing their spikes. These walls got like torn down a couple times, which was pretty annoying. So, uh, But yeah, this is a, a pretty solid forward base. I have three beds. It kind of dawned on me how um, whenever I respawn in the bed, there's that cooldown timer and then I can't respawn to that same spot. Um, why not just make more than one bed? You know what I mean? Like, there's no real penalty for it. So this allows me to respawn to this base basically three times in a row. If I can't survive three respawns in a row, I don't really deserve to be here. So uh, I didn't like fill the whole thing with beds. But uh, yeah, I've got two uh, campfires cooking meat. Uh, yep, got a lot of cooked meat going on. I've got the uh, cooking pot. I'm determined to figure out how to make dye. Um, let's see, stick the water in there. I don't know. I, I need to get a rest. I, I haven't found any recipes. I wonder if, if you find them in the bushes or if you if you find them on dinosaurs. I actually have no idea. Um, let's see, there's this. That's to make enduro stew, which is a workout in the form of a meal. You find yourself hitting harder running. Okay, so it looks like it just kind of boosts your stats maybe or maybe your stamina. Submerge in water, cook in the cooking pot, handful of berries. Yeah, I don't have a lot of stuff. Um, but that's cool. It's a recipe, right? That's what we want. I don't remember how I got it. I think I think one of my dino dinosaurs just had it on them, which can only mean charcoal. That's not what I want. Which can only mean that um, thatch. That uh, oh, you know what? There's no more meat to cook, so we can turn that off. Which can only mean that they picked it up from a dead a dead animal, not from like the bushes or whatnot. So I don't know. I don't know. Ugh, I don't want to go online and look. I really like to figure things out on my own, so... 
I think I'm just gonna keep tinkering and looking for recipes and then hopefully something will come up soon. So I actually need, I'm in really dire need of, nar of uh, narcotics. I have 13, but um, I have like 46 uh, trank arrows. That's honestly not enough to like take down a Spinosaurus or a T-Rex. You probably need about 60. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. I have really no clue what you need, but that doesn't seem like enough. And so, um, I want to make some more narcotics. In order to do so, I want I need narco berries. I obviously have plenty of spoiled meat. So I guess I could go around harvesting that. But what I wanted to show you is I oh my lord, I I'm so tempted to kill this thing. But um, level eight, 54. Yeah. So Tiny B is only a level five. Now Tiny B has the awesome camo green and brown, uh, green and black looking thing. So I really like her look. Uh, her look. Mm, I don't know. You kind of get, yeah, her look. You kind of get over the whole gender thing. Until there's mating in the game and like breeding, which I believe they're working on, which is really cool. Uh, the gender thing is just whether you're mate boosted or not. It doesn't really matter. Like males are not more aggressive or anything like that. Oh, there's some narcotic. Oh, that's me. Okay. Um, not saying they would be, but uh, anyway, there's really no distinction between the two, um, the two genders as far as I can tell. All right, so yeah, things are getting a ton of meat. I have like a the resource bonus kind of thing added on, and um, and that's fine and dandy. But um, my creatures are getting way too much meat. So actually, what I've had to do is like ditch a bunch of meat on the ground, um, which is fine. I mean, it feels wasteful, but it weighs everybody down, and then they can't move. It's really look at all this meat. I mean, it's out of control. So I guess meat's pretty easy to come by in general. Oh, that's bright red. That is pretty. What level? Oh, 12. I really like the coloring on this. Should I get it? I think I'm going to get it. So let me show you how to get a Pteranodon. They take off flying. Oh, you usually have to hit them once or twice with uh, with the... the uh, oh, I got him barely on the wingtip. Nice. Um, with the... Blah, tranquilizing arrows. And uh, once you do that, they'll take... Once you hit them once, they'll take off flying. So usually you have to hit them once on the ground. The, you don't have to, but the best way to do it is once on the ground and then maybe once more after they've taken off. Um, I'm really not even worried about the level. I just like the color. I mean, it's super bright red. That's that's just cool. It's like, ah, oh, it's rock. Get out of my way. Everything's always in my way. All right, so it's got red wings and then like orange and red. Yeah, and then, I don't know. I'm not crazy about the green beak. If that was black, that'd be prettier, but a but, uh, really cool uh, looking Pteranodon. So yeah, and they are but ugly. So what I've noticed with Pteranodons, even when I have the, uh, everything's so shaky, even when I have the easy taming mode, they do take a couple narco berries or maybe one or two narcotics to get it done. They will actually take off, they'll wake up and take off flying on you. So you have to uh, nurse them a little more than some of the other critters. So what happened was I really wanted to get up the mountain, up the mountain, uh, I think it's behind these trees. Yeah, there it is and get a couple crystal. I have yet to find any crystal on the beach, which we talked about. I don't know, I, I think that's just a rumor. I haven't seen any. Or maybe I'm just not looking in the right place. But um, yeah, I wanted to get a couple crystals so I could make the spyglass, because again, I really enjoy it. It tells you the level of things when they're far away, which everything's red around here. That's really interesting. Um, it tells you the level of things when they're far away, which is so helpful whenever you're gonna scout to tame. Um, you typically want to tame something fairly high level unless you're just looking for a quicker tame. So the higher the level, the more torpor and the more food gauge and the more health they may have. So it just generally slows everything down. But the end result is you can get a uh, creature with better stats. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Oh, there's a, uh, oh, that's the same one. There's a Rex. There's been so many Rexes around here. Luckily, my, my little squad is fully capable of killing them. So yes, I tamed like a level two um, a, 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 um, pteranodon named uh, Moonbeam, I think. It was like a grayish one. Um, I flew uh, flew that pteranodon up the mountain. I got like three crystal. They're kind of hard to find. I found three crystals. I built the spyglass and then I came back down and I really wanted a better pteranodon because it had very little stamina. I had to, um, here, let me show you. So this is flying. Flying is incredibly awesome. Uh, yeah, it's like the most satisfying element of the game, to, for me at least. I love flying. 
So, yes. Anyway, you make a saddle. It's a bunch of keratin. It's not that hard to make. And then you can mount it. Now, the thing about the Pteranodon is it's actually the fastest flyer so far. It's very, very speedy and quick and get, getting around. But it runs out of stamina really quickly. And if it runs out of stamina, it will actually automatically land. It just kind of like stalls and then takes you down and then lands. So if you're not choosing where you're landing, it can put you down in a really bad spot if you're not careful. So it's always a good idea to not run out of stamina. Um, luckily, when you do land, the stamina refills really quickly. So you just have to land for a couple seconds and then you're good to go. The other bad thing about these guys is the weight. Uh, the weight capacity is very low. Uh, let me pull up my inventory for uh, Star Chaser here. They're... Um, yeah, their stamina is about 300 or so, but it drains really quickly as they fly. And the weight's usually 150 as a base. So this one's actually been bumped to 165 through leveling, which is still not that good. I mean, my weight is um, now up to 380. I've just been pumping weight because I just really... I hate getting encumbered. It's so annoying. Um, yeah, that Rex is going to town. I think I need to pump some stamina into this thing. But honestly, the Argentavis, there's another Rex down there. Yeah, this, uh, this little avenue is is pretty deadly. So yeah, of course I shut up, set up shop here. Um, the Argentavis, which is the, the giant vulture uh, type creature, has really strong weight and stamina. It's a little bit slower moving, but um, that's kind of your um, utility flyer where you can actually transport materials and kind of a, 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 a more permanent flying the uh, the pteranodon just gets you there so it's the very first flyer it's fast it's decent at hunting and killing uh, but outside of that the utility of it is not that strong so you just have to kind of uh, understand that as you get it so anyway i got a low level flyer i made the spyglass came back down i saw a level 17 flyer and i thought well let's see what the difference in weight and stamina is that actually wasn't very much different so i tamed um star chaser here and then i found a level 35 flyer and I knocked it out, which took like four arrows, I think. And um, I was taming it. I was about 60% done with the tame. And this lovely little critter runs out of the forest and just eats my uh, eats my unconscious flyer. Oh, shoot. I need to be paying attention. Uh, eh, we're doing okay. So taming is about halfway done. And I'm going to go ahead and throw some narco berries in there. Not that many. Um, pump in about five, six. Six should be enough. To get it done as you do as you force feed it narco berries look at the unconscious meter it goes up i don't know if we talked about that but you're basically just knocking it back out um through drugging it <clears throat> anyway so um disruptor here jumps through the woods and kills my stuff and then starts attacking me and then like three dilos attack it and then of course they all sort of converge on me so i basically i don't think i died i almost died i, I jumped on a rock and then i pumped um all of them with uh, tranquilizing arrows I ended up knocking out um, this kitty, and I went down and just killed the um, killed the dilos because I didn't want any more dilos. So I did train a kitty. I named him Disruptor because he disrupted the taming. Um, him, her, I don't know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I have a cat now. It's a saber tooth tiger, or a saber. I think it's just called a saber tooth. Um, they're they're good. They're really fast on land. They don't tend to get stuck on things, which is good. Just like the um, the raptors, I think they're better at skinning things rather than getting meat. They get more hide, so that's definitely useful. I ha obviously have plenty of hide the way I've pumped the resources, so uh, whatever. But um, but yeah, they're good creatures. They can jump really high as well. Um, okay, but the base stats are kind of weak. You have to really work them to make uh, make something out of it. This one has really good food, which the food's useless. Because obviously I can load it with food anyway. Um, the health is low. I might do that. And the melee damage is pretty low. I usually like to keep it around 300%. Movement speed's actually boosted. I didn't boost any of this. This is the natural, um, the natural stats from this tame. So I'm going to go for health first. Oh, that's a big jump. Wow. Okay, good. So he can actually get potentially pretty high health. Um, he? Uh, he. Okay, good. Yeah, Disruptor's a boy, and uh, yeah, I mean, he's not pretty. He's like green and brown. He just kind of looks like whatever. Uh, I, d I wasn't really wanting a saber tooth at this point in the game because I don't have the saddle, so it's basically just like uh, an extra animal to follow me around. But uh, when I do get a saddle, it'll be awesome to already have one. They're kind of they're kind of tough to tame in that they, um, they are very deadly, so uh, you have to kind of jump up on a rock or figure out some way to trick them. Um, in order to get them down typically for me at least going head-to-head -head means because they usually hunt in packs So there's like three or four Usually that just means I'm gonna die. So that's not the best way to go about it 
All right, what a level you, 12. Why did I do this? Oh, the coloring, that's right. I was gonna say, I have a, I have a 17 here. So yeah, so flying around, big fan. Um, you can get around quickly. They are a kind of a nuisance. I'm sure if you've seen any other videos, they talk about it. They, they try to follow you in the middle of your body. So they just constantly like bump into you and they'll knock you off of things. Their wings are, has a really big wingspan and the, the uh, wings actually have like um, collision boxes or whatever. So the wings will clip you. So they're kind of a, you know, they're kind of a pain. They're not as compact as say like the saber tooth is just like a rectangle, like the shape of it. So it's pretty easy to get around this thing. Whereas like one of these with its wings out is just kind of an odd shape to work with. Anyway, um, but they're great. I mean, flying is awesome. So how are we doing here? We're almost done. Oh, your unconsciousness is bad. Wow. So I probably will need some more narco berries. We will go for six. We'll just use the other six. So we have here a level. It's going to get four levels, maybe probably like three levels. And it's a level 12. So that's about 15. That'll be nice. Um, oh, look at that. Purple wings. Yeah, the, the uh, what level are you? 33. Oh, I really want you. I really, can I get you? Uh, uh, please die. Please get shot. Please get shot. Oh, 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 in the water. Yeah, that's, that's the problem with water is, uh, <laughs> I don't think I can tame that. That thing is so full of piranhas. I feel bad now, but, um, but yeah, that, th those waters are so full of piranhas. What do I need? Wood? I just got wood. I need more wood. Okay. Three. I could try. I could bring along a dinosaur here. What in the world? Get away from me. Um, I could bring along a couple of my Carnos and and I can ride, uh, let's see, I can ride on you. I need to get a water dinosaur so I can actually ride in the water. Oh, we're way too heavy. Yeah, these. this raptor, oh, so much meat. This raptor, it, it's been a real pain for me. I don't really enjoy uh, riding it because it has, uh, it has so little weight and I don't remember them having such little weight. I never had this issue before, so it's probably... Oh, look at that. Two of them. I wonder if they'll attack each other. Let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, raptor. Oh, they're... Are they killing each other? They're both females. A nine and a 12. Mm, it doesn't look like it. It looks like they're eating fish. They mostly eat fish, honestly. Um, should I even go look? Those freaking um, Megapronas kill me so quickly. I hate them. All right, well, mm, I think it would probably drown. Oh, it's over there. Is it dead? I don't know. Oh, should we go for it? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna salvage my metal tools in case I die here. Um, and I'm gonna save my spyglass because it's kind of hard to make and I don't need that and I don't, yeah, I'm gonna save just the things that I really like here. I don't really care about blueprints. I seem to get them quite a lot. All right, yeah, the rest of this I can re rebuild. So, uh, wait, no, my arrows. The narc arrows are basically, each narc arrow represents a tranquilizer. So if you lose all those, it's like the same thing as losing tranquilizers. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna go see if I can actually tame it in the water. Oh my God, did you see all those piranhas? Oh, they're coming. No, 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 no. Wow. Yeah, this river, I need to do something about, look at that, kill them, kill them. Please don't kill my guys. Kill them. Megan, eat them all. Oh my god. Help Megan. Clowny, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't kill Megan. Megan T is getting destroyed. Oh no. Freaking piranhas. Oh no. Megan got killed. You're kidding me. Oh no. Megan T. <laughs> Alright, it's time for retribution. We're gonna fudge these piranhas up for that. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, there's so freaking many. Kill them, kill them, defend me. Kill them, friends. Why aren't you killing them? Look at all of them! Megan T! No! Oh, that's so lame. That oh god. Eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them, get them! Come on, guys, eat them up. Eat them up, get them. Kill him. What? My saber? Okay, we're out of here. This isn't cool. We are out of here. We are out of here. I really need... Yeah, I really need Tiff Tiny B. Tiny B can mop it. 
I should have just brought Tiny B. Oh, yeah. She killed all these things. Oh, man. A bunch of my friends just died. Oh, oh, these things are... Why are Mega Prawn is so freaking powerful? They are so freaking powerful. I don't understand. Okay, so future self. Wow. Oh, my God. Tiny B is about to die. That is insane. Wait, you should definitely not be underwater. Oh, my... Oh, my God. My Tyranodon just died. Oh, my God. Everything's dying. Get... Get... Go! Go! Ride! Ride you! No! Don't do that! No, no, no! Tiny Bee was just killed! What the f... Oh, my God! My entire team was just wiped out by a Stegosaurus and Piranhas. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. That was... That was... That was ugly. That was ugly town. Why did I do that? Just for a stupid... Ah. Uh, are there any more pro... Oh, this is... Look at this. Look at the carnage. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Oh, no! You were holding... Tiny, the problem is Tiny Bee was holding everything that I like valued. Let's get all this fiber out of here. Fibers use. Oh my cementing paste. Look at all these arrows. I guess this stuff's not that hard to rebuild. I'll get the arrows. Oh metal. A freaking freaking piranhas are so overpowered. Okay, I'm sorry, but like a piranha should not be more do more damage than like a velociraptor or even I don't know like a rex. Honestly, oh god, I'm suffocating. Get some air, get some air. Take it easy. Star Chaser. Wait. Oh yeah, Star Chaser is the one I can ride. Do I have a I have a Tyranodon underwater, don't I? Over here, right? Oh, tiny bee, I'm so sorry. I I made a bad judgment. Who are you? Oh, that's the new one. That's the red one. Oh, it must have come to life and then tried to come defend us and then died. Oh, uh, that was terrible. Man, I hate piranhas. Okay, so I know how to deal with the piranhas. So you have to get a creature that has really good... Um, I'm encumbered, which means I can't get air. Uh, okay, you have to get an animal that has really good area of area of effect damage, such as, well, a Brontosaurus. We saw it did a, a hell of a good job, but it ended up getting struck down by a Stegosaurus. Oh, uh, wait, I should I should harvest. No, we don't harvest our pets. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? At least I have my flying Tyranitar. At least I can fly to my other base and then cry all night because that was all right. Everyone, follow me. Let's let's hobble home. The walk of shame. Well, that, at least our Argentavis didn't die, but it's only turkey. Yeah, we tamed an Argentavis. Uh, it basically attacked me, and I didn't have any normal arrows, so I just kept hitting it with tranquilizing arrows because I didn't know what else to do. I didn't have any other weapons, and I ended up knocking it out. And so once you knock an animal out, you might as well just tame it. It's it's there. So I threw some meat in its inventory and just kind of sat around. And it got tamed. It was a pretty easy one. Okay, so nothing. I mean, all that stuff is replaceable, I guess. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to make like a billion memorials. <laughs> I don't think I am. Okay, that was that was purely my stupidity. I was wanting to test the piranhas. I know they're overpowered. I know they're way overpowered. But I went for it anyway. And, um, and that's the price you pay. That's the price of learning. Where's my... Where is my flyer? Okay, good. Star Chaser. I don't want to lose Star Chaser. Because she's... He or she... I think it's a she. Come here, Star Chaser. What are you? You are... Yeah, female. She is basically my ticket out of this hellhole. Because this, uh... This area is just nutter butters. Oh, yeah. I put a storage just outside. I was going to use it for quick access of, like, um, wood and stone and some of the um, some of the resources, which you kind of often need, but you don't want to carry around because they're far too heavy. So that was the plan there. And since it's outside, I don't even have to worry about going in the house for it. Oh, what a bummer. Oh, well. I guess you kind of just get used to losing pets because, like, it happens. And then the, I do have a chest inside. Ugh, this this um, doorway you get clipped on you can't easily get in which I'm hoping will prevent animals from getting in that's that was kind of the idea 
Um, cementing paste is pretty hard to come by. Uh, metal at this point is pretty hard to come by. Oh, all my spark powder. Um, you know what? I can. Uh, I can put most of it on the thing. Okay. Oh, I found a little obsidian too. I think it, that's really late game. I, I don't. I never really had to use it honestly, but, but it's there, so I have it now. Um, we'll put the rest of the spark powder here. That'll make sense. And I have way too many arrows, and I have this, and... Oh, okay, well, that's a bummer. All right, so Narcos, wait, no. This is the one I was using to make cementing paste. I have kind of a lot now. Um, I was just about to say I have a lot on Tiny Bee. Nope, I surely don't, so that's not gonna be the case and yeah that should do it what's my weight because the uh, pteranodon doesn't fly if I weigh too much weight oh 150 that's not good all right I gotta ditch some of these um, I gotta ditch some of these arrows they're just they're pretty heavy here you hold a lot of these well wow, I have a lot of arrows you know arrows are so quick and easy to craft I probably shouldn't even bother like making them ahead of time but I just hate running out. All right, no more chasing high-level pteranodons. That's the second time. All right, yeah, let's learn from our mistakes. That's the second time that I w got into a pickle because of trying to tame a high-level pteranodon. The first one was, of course, whenever Disruptor, who's no longer with us, uh, came out of the woods and killed everything. And then now the piranhas, which is my fault. My fault entirely. All right, Star Chaser. I don't really want to do weight because you don't get that much weight. I don't want to do health. I want to do stamina. I don't even want to use you. You're so low level. Uh, stamina, I guess. I should have done weight. Whatever. All right. What I don't. The only thing I don't like about the Tyranodon. Oh come on. Besides them getting stuck on everything is that it seems to me like when you level them up, each level you hardly get anything, like any bonus points. So it doesn't even feel like it's worth it. You'll get like 10 more stamina. Oh, there's more piranhas, are you kidding me? You bastards. Can I, uh, I'm afraid to attack because I, if I fall into the water, oh, I think I'm getting them. Yeah, oh, this is one way to deal with the piranhas. Although look how slow this is going. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, if I go in the water, I actually do, um, oh, please, Tiny Bee, have your body go away so I can stop looking at it. It's just kind of sad. Well, the sun's going down, so it might be a good time to go ahead and wrap this up. I just wanted to introduce you to my base and all my new pets, but, uh, yeah, that didn't really go the way I wanted it to. But, you know what, I'm still, you know, I have my, did I lose? Oh, I lost Megan. Oh no. That's too bad. Is Clowny a girl? Oh wow, I named a female Clowny. Ah, whatever. Well, they're still mate boosted. Bo Jingles and Clowny. Megan T's gone. That sucks. Ugh. Alright, so I now have two Carnotars. Two Carnotars is still a really powerful team. I will survive. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. We're gonna go to bed. Because uh, the nighttime's coming. Come on. Yeah, this is. This is a real pain. Uh, anyway, but I will uh, I will do some more building on this base. I'm probably going to just replace all the thatch with wood because I'm tired of, I don't know, thatch is just kind of bleh. Um, I might actually just abandon this spot. It's obviously pretty volatile. Or Either that or I need to do some serious like um, marking of my territory, as in building walls and, and making sure that wild animals can't just do what they do. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do, comment, um, and uh, we'll play again soon. Have a great evening. Bye.